Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To. And on today's video, we'll be taking a look at increasing the volume on your Bluetooth headset, Bluetooth earphones, or possibly even just a regular set of speakers. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to increase the volume on your Bluetooth headset or even just a regular headset on your Windows PC. Now, a lot of people have noticed uh, since Windows has been updated through various options, now there is a volume link slider. So what I mean by that is when you increase the volume on Windows, it increases the volume on your headset and vice versa. If you've got one of the headsets which have a button for up and down volume, if you use these with Windows, press down, volume goes down, press up, volume goes up. Now, in some instances, depending on the way that your headset actually works, you may find that your headset now is actually considerably quieter than it was previously. And also, something else which has been thrown into the mix is the fact that you can easily adjust the balance from left to right. So if you're one of those people that may be slightly hearing impaired in one ear and you want to adjust the balance of your headset, you can no longer do that within Windows. So today is the day we fix all that. So over on our Windows PC, now this is Windows 11, but the theory and the principle is very, very similar for Windows 10, although it may look slightly different. Uh, if you're struggling, feel free to reach out to us and I'll try and give you as much help as I can. What you will need is access to RegEdit, so you will need to be administrator or at least have the administrator password for the PC you're actually using. And what we want to do is to click on the search button or start button, and then we want to type in Reg, as in RegEdit, and open the registry editor. So we're going to right click and choose run as administrator. User account control should come up and say, do you want to make changes, etc., etc. So just click on yes. And we want to head over to this particular area. Now I've already been here because I've actually tried it and it does work. So just to uh, reiterate where you go. So you go into computer, H key local machine, then into system, control set 001, then into control, Bluetooth, then audio, AVRCP, and there should be an additional folder called CT, which is this one here. Now inside the CT folder, there'll be a default top one, and also you have a section here or a key called disable absolute volume. Now for those of you that are doing this and you've actually just got that folder and this key doesn't exist, then you can quite easily create the key yourself. Just right click, choose new, and then create a new 32-bit value and then type in Disable Absolute Volume, capital D, capital A, capital V, and set it as a Reg D word value of one. The default value, if you've already got yours already, will be set to zero. So if you open up the editor, click decimal, and if you've got a zero, obviously just change it to a one, press okay, reboot your system, and then you should find you've actually got a lot more control of your Windows volume with your Bluetooth device. I would suggest, obviously once you've done this, made any changes, do do a reset of your computer or restart just to make sure it's taken. If for some reason it doesn't work or you don't want it or it doesn't do what you want it to do, you can just go back in and change the D word value to zero. And where it gets interesting is if we go into the settings panel and we go into system, then we go into sound, Okay, so now what we've got is we've got uh, some music running. So I've gone into the audio library for YouTube. And as you can see now, we've got our volume control there. So if I actually click the buttons on my headset now to increase the volume, which you can probably hear. And that bleeping noise is me getting to the top of the limit of the audio. And if I go all the way down again, And as you can see, there is absolutely no linked control. So what you can do is you can actually have your headphones set to a certain level. So say you can have your headphones on maximum. And then you can crank up the volume further in Windows. And also you can adjust the channel so you can have one louder than the other, all that kind of stuff. You can play with it however you see fit. But essentially what it's going to do is going to give you the option to actually boost your audio because the two are not intrinsically linked. And also if you again, if you want to have something specific, say you're streaming and you only want to have something out of one channel so you can concentrate on other things going on, that kind of thing, then this could be extremely useful for you. So there we go. There are some tips on how to uh, increase the absolute volume 
on your Windows PC using Bluetooth devices. This potentially will work with other devices as well, powered speakers, that kind of stuff. Doesn't necessarily have to be Bluetooth. I'm guessing Bluetooth is pretty much where most people are going to be looking at. This again will work for headsets, it will work for Bluetooth speakers and also Bluetooth earbuds, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, should hopefully help somebody. And again, actually being able to now change the volume levels in each independent channel is great. So if you're a streamer and you've got your headset on and you want to hear the input from one side there and maybe a conference call or something on the other one, then yeah, essentially you can do those sorts of things. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to smash the like button. And also if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, click on the subscribe button and the channel icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, that's going to wrap things up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews Now 2. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.